Welcome to another episode of Capture Crown and Country, a YouTube channel where I talk about watches, photography, and stuff made in America. Today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite watches in my collection, and it's a watch from Belova. It's called the Accutron Snorkel. It's a watch so nice, I actually bought two of them. Belova's doing a great job lately of putting out a bunch of vintage-inspired pieces with upgraded tech inside. They have these snorkel watches and the moon watch, as well as a handful of other vintage-inspired pieces. For those who don't know, Belova has an ultra-high accuracy quartz movement that they use for their watches. While most mechanical watches lose and gain several seconds per day, the Belova watches gain or lose a handful of seconds per year. You might think that's just par for the course for quartz watches because they are much more accurate than their mechanical counterparts, but a normal quartz watch will still gain or lose a few minutes every year. The watches housing this Belova Tech are truly some of the most accurate watches money can buy. I'm going to tell you what I love and what I hate about this particular Belova Accutron model. Let's start off with what I love about this watch. I absolutely love the way this watch looks. It's a vintage inspired compressor style dive watch in bright 70s colors. This watch pairs well with a variety of straps, but honestly, I love this watch on the included coffin style bracelet. It gives a dressy hint to an otherwise sporty watch. The dive bezel is located inside the case rather than outside. This is pretty common for compressor style divers. There is another crown that operates the bi-directional bezel, so you can use that dive timing feature. I don't think many people are going to use this watch for diving because there's no lock on the timer, but it works great for timing stakes on the grill. The markers are applied and the text printing is crisp and bright white against the blue sunray watch dial. The contrast is great and it looks beautiful and legible on the wrist. Normally, a quartz watch comes equipped with the oh-so-annoying tick-tock seconds hand. I hate that. It honestly ruins quartz watches for me. I'd rather not have a second hand than the tick-tock of a quartz second hand. This Belova is wonderful in this regard. The snorkel has an ultra-high frequency quartz movement inside. This movement is incredibly accurate even by quartz standards. Additionally, the Belova watches with their ultra-high frequency movements have a sweeping second hand instead of that tick-tock movement. This doesn't seem all that impressive until you dive into exactly how accurate and exactly how complicated this movement is. The only problem with this is that Belova does a pretty bad job marketing their ultra-high accuracy movements to watch nerds like me and maybe you. I honestly think that there should be a differentiation between regular quartz and the kind of movement keeping time in the snorkel. Regardless, the movement gives a pleasing sweep of the second hand as well as the ultra-high accuracy and durability of quartz watches. I really love how versatile this watch is. Normal dive watches cannot, I repeat, can not work with a suit and tie. Every time I see an attorney at court wearing a Submariner with a suit, I visibly cringe. The interior dive bezel is what changes things for me. It creates a smooth and sleek profile that slips effortlessly under a shirt cuff. The steel bracelet on this watch isn't as tool-esque as a Submariner or other dive watches. The profile of the watch is relatively slender and the funky 70s colors provide a pop of color on the wrist that works well in a variety of situations. Additionally, this watch is 200 meters water resistant, which means you can swim with absolutely no issues. This watch certainly passes my boardroom to beach test. I bought this watch for $114 on eBay. I love the fact that this beautiful watch full of cutting edge technology can be had for an absolute bargain. This watch doesn't look cheap, it doesn't feel cheap, it doesn't operate in a cheap way. It feels and looks like a watch that costs about 10 times as much, and in my opinion, Belova offers some of the best bang for buck on the market. Unfortunately, as is the case with nearly every watch on planet Earth, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. There are some things that aren't so great about this watch. I actually love watches made by Belova, but they have a branding problem. I see on watch forums that Belova is thought of as a cheap department store brand. 
I don't think that this is fair, but this is the perception of this brand. I'll be the first to admit that I don't fully understand why some brands have a good reputation while others do not. I think that Belova is an undervalued brand by watch enthusiasts, but it's not highly thought of and that is the truth of the matter. The nice part of this is that Belova watches are relatively inexpensive compared to other brands. To close it all out, I'm a huge fan of Belova watches in general and this watch in particular. It's a versatile, inexpensive, and accurate watch from an underrated brand that has a lot of history and horological importance in its own right. If you want a classy dive watch that looks as good in the boardroom as it does on the beach, you might want to check out the Belova Stormwall.